Oops. Excuse me, Mr. Cornell. I've tried to be neighborly. And I've tried to be friendly. And I have tried to be cordial. I don't know what it is you're trying to be. When I first came here and you helped me lug that big big old trunk up the stairs, I appreciated it. The fact that it fell five flats and smashed into itty bitty pieces. It, it wasn't your fault. And that personal message that you painted on the stairs, it, at first I thought it was a little crazy, but sweet. But um, this cannot go on. It's gone way too far. I cannot accept gifts from a man I hardly know, especially canned goods. Uh, you can't be leaving little chocolate bars in my mailbox with almonds in them. They melted, and I got three letters from home. They were gooey and filled with nuts. And I got your message, and I read it, and I think I get the gist of it. But I, I don't speak Italian. It's got to stop, Mr. Cornell, really. And no more sneaking into my apartment after I leave for work and painting the deck without telling me. I went out there the other day. And my feet stuck to the ground. My slippers are still stuck out there. And oh, please no more with the cat. Oh, poor kitten. No more tying big bottles of eau de cologne on her tail. She was swishing and swishing. She nearly knocked herself out. And please don't watch me no more from your window while I'm at the bus stop with your high-powered telescopy thing. It made me so nervous. I got on the wrong bus. You should have seen where I ended up. In short, Mr. Cornell, I really don't want to have to say this again. Leave me alone. Dear Mr. Cornell. Mr. Cornell. I have tried to be neighborly. Friendly. I have tried to be cordial. I do not know what it is you're trying to be. That first night, I was appreciative of the fact that you helped me bring my trunk up the stairs. It did fall five flights and smash into little pieces, but that was not your fault. That personal message that you painted on the stairs, I thought it was crazy, but sweet. But this cannot go on any further. I cannot accept gifts from a man I hardly know. No more leaving little chocolate bars with the nuts in them in my mailbox. They melted the other day, and I got three letters, three gooey letters from home with nuts in them. And no more painting my deck after I leave for work and not telling me about it. I stepped out there the other day and my feet got stuck to the ground. My slippers are still out there. And no more tying little bottles of eau de cologne on my cat's tail. She was swishing the other day so fast that she nearly beat herself to death. And especially no more watching me out my out your window while I'm at the bus stop with your high powered telescopy thing. You made me so nervous I got on the wrong bus. You should have seen where I ended up. In short, Mr. Cornell, and I do not want to have to say this again. Please leave me alone, Miss Sophie. Mr. Cornell, 